Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode on the Plundercraft server. My name is Minecraft Days, and today we're not at our base. Uh, today we are at uh, Dan the Panda Man's base, and we're going to be talking to him in just a little bit. But we are here for a very special reason, and we will find out in just a little bit. So without further ado, let's get into this video. <laughs> So we are here at Daniel's amazing base. It is so amazing here. His base is amazing. And uh, right in front of me is the building that he built and I helped him today. Uh, we built something really amazing behind that door. And it it's it's a game changer, basically. It, uh, it, it It's really important for what's happening. But as you can see, Daniel has been working on his base a lot. I have shown his base before. But this, uh, he, the most he's worked on now is changing all of these houses into his style. So this is a fishing hut, as you can tell, with the dock. And uh, over here, Daniel copied me. We'll go to my base in a second. But we have Daniel's bridge over here. And I really love this design here because I didn't know you could do this. I had no idea how they did this, but how you do it is when you p attach it to a wall the fence post goes down a bit and it looks it gives a really good design to me it gives a cowboy design more than anything else but it works for medieval as well but right here is the best and he, daniel and i have slaved all of today and a little bit of yesterday on this and uh he, we've also done a little bit of mine as well and we'll be at my base in a second but right in this door Oh, there's Daniel now. Is a villager, uh, a trading hall and breeder. So we have our villager breeder up here. Uh, it drops down. This is a nomad. It looks like Daniel joined the call. Hi, Daniel. Yeah, so, yeah, we've been working hard at this. Haven't yep, we? a day and a half, basically. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't even feel like that. I hate I villagers. That's the one thing I have to say. Villagers are so annoying. But we have we switch, some. We had to switch so many of them. Yes, so many of these villagers had to be moved to different slots. It is unbelievable. But with this, we have an infinity, a knockback, a power five, sharpness five, fortune three, looting three, unbreaking three, uh, and yeah. these ones here, just in case, because I had to uh, tell my brother to be quiet. He's he's playing Fortnite as I'm trying to record, so you can understand how that goes. <laughs> But, um, yeah, we, we have quite an assortment. Some are duplicates, but that's fine. Yeah, some uh, of them, there are a few Silk Touch villagers, actually. This guy has Silk Touch. This guy has two Silk Touch. We can wake him up, and if we look at him, he's got Silk Touch and Silk Touch. Just the first one is cheaper. We did have yeah. Hero of the Village not long ago. We were able to get some more totems, and I don't think, no, I don't have my Richities here with me. Oh, They're at my look, base. The miracle of life happened again. There's another villager here. Oh, that means they're actually collecting the the bread. Because before it was only yes, one guy collecting are. it. But yeah, so Daniel, if he agreed that if I helped him do this, he would give me two villagers to take on my own to start my own breeder and do this on my own. I asked yeah. him if he'd help me, but he he doesn't want to help me because he hates villagers so much. Yeah. But I actually <laughs> villagers, I hate them, but they're okay. Because my villagers, they obeyed me when I took them all the way from here, up the mountain, down into Daniel's basement, through the portal, and all the way to my base. Uh, it, it was a long way away. But Daniel has linked up his portal to a different portal, so then it's not linked up to Plundercraft. Plunderville, sorry. Yeah, I'd like to say, this, this villager beater design, though, it's pretty good. It, it, it is pretty good. This um, is this is without a video. So we did this. See, we've seen videos of people do this. Like we've watched Mumbo Jumbo with his, his villager breeders. So we know how it's kind of done. So we just did it without watching one of his videos. We just did it basically from memory. And we had to tweak it. Uh, the beds, we had to raise them up because they like to sleep in the beds. And then they get stuck in the glass, which is really annoying. So yeah. we had to move it that they can still see the bed, but they can't reach the bed. Yeah. And it's pretty re reliable, too. Yeah, we've uh, gotten... We have a dispenser here that we can put, like, bread and carrots yeah. and potatoes in there. See, how it went is Daniel... That, 
Yeah, that's all we do. Daniel refuses to put it on redstone because he doesn't think the villagers deserve it. <laughs> they they are um my slaves, and and this is another thing you can do. You can just I go like this, and uh, with a mine cart. Hi, hungry. I'm Jonah. Yes, because we have to we have to bring these guys out uh, yeah, all the time. I don't actually have a minecart with me. The idea is the minecart goes down here and it actually picks the villager through the corner of it. Yeah, and, and that's that's out. that's what many people do, and we we just use that to our advantage. Mm -hmm. And now the only sad part is is I have heard that with the one point sixteen update, which we won't get for probably a really long time, but the one point sixteen update has fixed zero tick farms. Now yeah, this is not fully sad. a zero tick farm because it is it is zero tick is an on bedrock. There is no such thing as zero tick. You can't get that on bedrock. Yeah, so th it's our own like kind of design here. Well, not our own. It's a it's a person's video. Daniel used it. I'm gonna be using the same thing. Yes. Or I might just use Daniel's. <laughs> yeah. But no, I'll I'll use my own when I make my villager breeder. Well, sorry, yeah, when I make my village tree. Really, it's not the same as zero tick. It doesn't. It doesn't move like the blocks that are under it repeatedly to like make yes. it faster. This is one how how it works. Is it use uh, it uses exactly waterlogged uh, stairs, and pushes them back and forth. Here, I'll just turn it on. It's really laggy. It might be laggy on the recording. I'm not sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my uh, volume. Actually, you know what? It's working perfectly. It's working. It's actually working perfectly. It hasn't dropped any frames. Okay. But see, it's all it does is pushes these yeah. these uh, stairs back and forth, and uh, there's a YouTube video for it. Uh, I'm not I'll sure if I'll be. I'll uh, link it in the description. Daniel will link it. I will try to link it as well because actually, I'll link it when I actually build this. I'll link it. Once it grows to this, yep. it's the same trick. It gets ticked off by an observer. And it. And oh it no. <laughs> we have a problem. I think I can get out Stuff easily. Her. Just, just like break. that, I got yeah, it. Uh, so it's it gets double. So uh, it yeah. gets I don't fully know. Oh, okay, that's that's how it's, that it's works. It's about like thousands of sugar cane per hour, and it's it gets ridiculous. it gets a lot of sugar cane. So whatever is in each chest is is it's it's basically tr uh, quadruple. 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 Yeah. So it's just like that. I almost have a full inventory. Now we used to be, yeah. when you let this run for like maybe 15 minutes, you are able to get like three shulker boxes worth of this yeah. stuff, of, of paper. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, right. oh, don't, don't do that. When I almost grabbed a whole uh, bunch of books. On, I just sit up here in this little room in <laughs> AFK for a bit, maybe watch some YouTube or something. Yeah. But Daniel, thanks for bringing me around here. I'm going to now head to my base and I'm going to show them around there. Yeah, and we'll nice go through your other portal. It was great seeing you, Daniel. Bye. 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 You can. Okay. Do you have to I'm, get off? I'm, no, I don't have to get off. Oh, okay. But I'm leaving the call now so I can record. Yep, yep. Were you recording? Okay. Uh, yes, I'm okay, recording good. right now. That's good. Okay, see ya. So am I. See ya, Daniel. All right, everyone, as we slowly get closer to my portal, you can see here, here is our two villagers that I spent probably about two hours trying to get over to here. It took absolutely forever. Um, I'll go down the path later, but these guys, somehow he's still wanting to be a fisherman and a, and a cleric. But through this portal, there's a big surprise. A very big surprise so let's go through and you guys will see all right so when we walk out of the portal there's just a sign saying don't mind sand here but uh, we have this building and I have also been working on this building here because I wanted to get more buildings because because our villager trading hall is gonna be going right here but right behind me is what I have worked two days on uh not two days sorry that's an exaggeration a whole day probably about i would say a day because i had to gather gather all the materials but when i look up you guys will see it you ready three two one here it is look at this so i have been working really really hard on this this is, has been my plan ever since the beginning so i tore out the old bridge that the the boring old bridge and i built this amazing bridge here so what we have is i'm going to be getting mob uh steve heads because you can do that by getting killed by a charged creeper i'm going to be getting a whole bunch of steve heads and just putting it on here 
but I'll just explain what's going on. I did this to give the whole thing life. So here we have two guys fighting. Uh, right here, this is he's buying uh, tools, so I'm gonna probably have tools in these chests. This guy, ha oh, what's on that enchantment book? Before it was just a normal book. What's on this? Efficiency one. Okay, there's a enchantment book here, so there'll probably be enchantment books in there. A uh, leather, there'll be leather in here. Uh, food, there'll be food in here. This guy, I don't know what's gonna be in here. So I just had a diamond in his hand, like he's paying for something. This guy's holding a rabbit hide. He was dabbing before, but I guess now he's not. This guy's holding Nemo. Whoop. This is the thing that goes around absolutely everybody's chest. Somebody puts it in everyone's chest, and we, no one knows who it is. I believe it's Pepe, though. But there's Nemo. And then we have our dock here. So the best part is this way. So we'll come out. I don't want to spoil. Oh, I'm spoiling it right now. Okay, here we go. You ready, guys? We come around this corner and look at this bridge. I have had absolutely no help with this. I did this all by myself. I, uh, it looks beautiful. That's the thing. So I did say at the beginning of the video that Daniel copied me. I would say no, he didn't. He didn't copy me. He did his own design. Uh, I, I did my own design. This I have been planning for absolutely so long. I added, as you can see, a dock here because of the boats. But this does look beautiful at night. And I do play with shaders on, but it's, it, it's little, it's a little laggy in the in in obs when i try to record so i don't use the shaders here i do use one shader and that's dark mode uh i got this and it's really i really like it uh, i just got it a few days ago it's actually really good but i'm going to go on top of the bridge in just a second so you go onto the bridge and we have some vines going on it i gotta get some more string and i'm the king of string on this server I'll show you in a second. There's so much things I have to show you, and I'm, I'm just super excited. I've done so much. Um, as you guys may know, uh, it's March break, so I've been on absolutely every single day. Uh, so I've gotten a lot done. I found a spider spawner right in right in the pit with the where my base is. I built this on the uh, the next day after. I'm not sure, but I've done a lot. Uh, I do love this design though with the marketplace. I've had that plan ever since the beginning when I first started this base and I really do love it. It, it. The base is really coming together. All I have to do now is find a way to blend uh, the, the, the medieval side with the desert side. So now we're going to head over to the desert base because there's a lot there. But at, on heading over to the desert base I can tour the bridge. So we got some a whole bunch of leaves, and I think adding vegetation really adds to a build. I didn't have many leaves left, so this was all I was able to do, including the leaves around here. Especially hay bales. I don't know if you can tell, I have a lot of hay bales, so I used as many as I could. Uh, we have this guy walking out of a utility closet that though is supposed to be open. Uh, there's nothing in these chests. Oh, never mind, there is. There's some meat and stuff. Uh, in this, there's a hay bale and some barrels. And as we just heard, I might have to remove every single barrel that was here. Which is going to be really sad because there's a lot of barrels everywhere. This guy's fishing. This guy's helping him fish. Uh, this guy's walking. I guess he must have found a Nautilus shell. We have some barrels on the, so on the bridge as well. I do like this. It added a lot to it. Especially the vegetation on the bridge. And the glowstone that pierced through that. Uh, as well as this, the glowstone on the top there, that look that really adds to it. There's also glowstone underneath these, uh, which is really good. And it's almost night, so you guys will get to see it at night as well. I'm just so excited I'm talking a mile a minute. But uh, with this, there's nothing in this guy's hand. I'm not sure what I want to put in his hand, though. Uh, and then there's just two chests in there. And then there's barrels and hay bales in there. But I do love how this bridge turned out uh it is beautiful it is amazing and i love it so much now we turn it over to the base uh as you can see the shulker monster the shulker box monster is growing even more every single day and well i guess chess monster too because we have a lot oh i do have melons but uh the, i have a lot of stuff i do have more oak leaves i went and got some more and i have a lot of stuff everywhere but down here is where it's all at so you guys remember the last video we made this down here uh we uh we made the sand around here so what we did what i did 
was uh, I dug some more out, and with that, I found a, a, a spider spawner. When we come down here, this took a long time to make because underneath this and right over here is all lava. So it took a long time to do this. But I have it off just because it, it causes a little bit of lag. But uh, how it works is the spiders drop down, they come in here, and then we have the... I kill them with my sword, and the hoppers pick it all up. Now, in here... Oh, this is all my spider eyes. I have so much. I need another shulker box down here because I ran out of room for all the string I have. And there's even more string waiting to come into the chest. I love this so much. This is such a good farm, and I'm going to be starting a string shop. If I'm not able to do anything at my base today, what it will be is probably us building the string shop. If not, it will be in another episode. But the one thing we do have to do... We're overusing? What? Oh. <laughs> the one thing we do have to do is build our villager breeder. That's all that I want to get done in this episode. Because we've already had a lot of time talking to Daniel, and... Uh, then also touring our base. So what we have to do now is start on building the villager breeder. And I'm not fully sure where I want to build it, but we'll find a spot. All right, everyone. So this is what it uh, basically is going to help. This is basically how big it's going to be. I might actually extend it all the way to the end. And I think I'm actually going to do that. But I have to go and now get the materials for all of this. And it's going to be basically a lot of spruce and cobblestone and stone bricks. That's, I believe, all I'm going to have to use. The building is going to look like this. Um, it just going to be much bigger, and that is where the villager breeder is going to be. I think I'm going to do three floors, um, probably maybe only two, but I think I'll do three floors just to continue it on, uh, but I'm not fully sure yet. Oh, I need to do this, because I do this so then no mobs can get up here. Now this one is, because he's not very smart. But I do this because I can get up this, but mobs can't, which is really good. Oh, I forgot. There's ways for him to get up here. There we go. Now, the base is really coming together. I really am looking how that... I'm sorry. I really am liking how this is coming along. It is looking really, really good. Uh, during, the, during the time lapse, I was talking with Pepe. And he has been building on his opera house. And it is looking really good as well. I was over there uh, just this morning with Daniel. Daniel and I have basically been on all day building the trading hall it has been a lot of fun been very stressful the most i would say the most stressful part was getting the villagers to where they had to be and also getting my villagers all the way over here because i had no idea how i was going to do that now i am going to be bringing these villagers in here very shortly but i have to go back and get some materials because i need a whole lot of spruce wood and i also need the rails to get them in here but I don't believe Daniel's in stock with spruce wood. So I do not think this building will get done. Which is going to be very, very sad because I really wanted to get it done. But my goal is to get the villager breeder done. So we are going to get that done.
All right, everyone. So I have finished, well, almost finished the second floor. I'm now just going to install the roof, which I think is going to need more than that, which is sad. We're cutting into all of our spruce wood. Shh. But the one thing I have decided is below me here, uh, I'm not going to have uh, villager sections. I'm going to have the villager breeder down here in this section, and we will have all of the villagers that we're going to use over here. So... All we have to do fully is put in the glass, and then we can make the villager breeder. I don't have too much glass. I might have to get some more, which is going to be really sad. But we should be able to do this. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright everyone, so I have the um, glass all installed, so now we're going to just have a look, see how this looks. I think I'm going to put some stuff up there too. I think this is looking really good. Um, I might only keep it two floors for now. We might, um, of course, we might go bigger later. But right now, I think this is looking really good. Now, the first thing I have to say is when I build buildings, I think of the outside. Not the inside, as you can tell here. Um... But I think this is looking really good. So I'm going to get some torches, light it up, and then we will start in here on the village breeder, villager breeder. So when we come back, I will have started on the villager breeder. So let's get into this. Finally, everyone, we have done it. It has taken absolutely forever. It took an entire raid that glitched out and all of a sudden wasn't a raid anymore. Yeah, I don't know what happened to it. It just decided to eat and delete itself. Um... All right, so we have our villagers in here. Uh, are we putting the beds on top of where this is right here? The beds go... Okay, so let's remove all the spruce. The beds can go... Oh, no, okay. Up you a have block. To go one block. Yeah. More. Then... Put it like this. Uh, I, I can grab my that. beds now. Yeah, get all your beds. I have, There's one here. Alright, I just picked it up. <laughs> oh, you picked it up? Okay, I have... Three mine carts in my inventory. I'm just gonna throw a bunch of stuff over in the corner. <laughs> uh, I need those. Oh, those are your mine carts. I believe. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I have a lot of rotten flesh. All right, there we oh, go. No. Now all I need to do is take the wood, cover it up. Yep. Okay. Now will they will they sleep in this bed? There. No, they will not. Okay, that's good. Are you sure? Wait, wait. Are you sure this it, this is the same way it was at my place? Yes. Are you sure it was one block? Oh, it wasn't one block lower. No, it wasn't. Because you kept saying that it was, but it, it wasn't. This is how high you had it. No. This is how you had it. Okay, we'll see if that works. If it works on a few more. It might have to be one lower. So let's wait. I say you have a dispenser. I don't have a dispenser. I do have dispensers, just or not with a me. a dropper. Just make a dropper. A dropper is easier. Oh, sorry. Oh, I almost just broke the glass. Okay, I just need a few to get up here. Yep. And because then you put a dropper, like, here. I'll work close for it. Straight. There. Yep. All right. So where is the dropper going? The dropper has to go right here. Well, it can go. It what about right here? Where? Right here. Right a block above it. Block above it? Yeah, you could do that actually. Let's do that, because that's block. probably better. I don't know if they'll No, they won't be able to escape here. Yeah, that is better. Um So what's better, a dropper or a dispenser? Uh it, does, it seriously doesn't matter. Okay, because I have more dispensers than I have droppers. Okay. I was just saying because it's dropper which is easier to make. All right. Yeah, I'd say oh. try to place it like right there. If I oh <laughs> Yeah, you can't, you can't crouch on this stuff. I don't... Oh. Nope, it's not going to nope. go this way. You might have to go from behind it. Or you could just destroy the plumbing. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Watch. Oh. Well, I need yeah, to destroy this. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Now, now you should be able to do it. Now I should be able to crouch. There. And you place the glass there. And then you can get a button or whatever. Um, or... I have levers. Don't worry. 
but what I'll do is we'll put a block right there. I just need potatoes. That's what I need. Yeah. Potatoes or carrot or bread, they all work. Daniel, this is all yours. <laughs> what is it? Oh. Okay. That's my shulk. That's mine. Okay. Now, this should work fine. Yeah, it works. Yep. And they should start... I would test it just to see if the beds are low enough. Alright. Just to see. We need some, some carrots yeah. or something. Oh, yeah, I'm, um, I don't think I have any here. This um, is when Nofflet's store comes in, Chandy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh. This is amazing. Alright, now when they okay. spawn, maybe they should both drop down? Yeah, maybe should, they should pop a few. This is a major design flaw. This wasn't meant to happen. I think that's like a small chance that it does that, though. I think it's done it twice. <laughs> and there's two on there now. <laughs> proven wrong. Well, you know what you could do? You could place a bucket of water there. True, I could have a dispenser that places a bucket of water. Do you have the yeah. bucket of water? I can get a dispenser. Yes, I do. I have a bucket of water. I can get another dispenser. I hope, hopefully this goes well, though. <laughs> Alright. We break right there. Wait. Uh, okay, I grab some of your stuff here. I'd say you break the bottom of them so it doesn't put it on Oops. their head. So they don't drown. It could go very bad. It's only going to be like a second that it's doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I put it on the bottom half though. Oh, that's all we had to do was just break a block. Oh, <laughs> they're safe now. Alright, you can take your scaffolding back. Alright. I think I'm just going to have a door right here. Yeah. No, I think this is look. I think this is looking good. I think it's looking good. There we go. Look at that. That is all I wanted to do today. We will do the rest of everything later on a next episode. But look at this, everyone. We have our villager breeder done. After call of life. After it's let's see how long this recording was. After two hours of recording of building this and also. Uh, fighting a raid, getting the villagers in here, and then having trouble getting the villagers in here, and then having now two baby villagers that will be ready to go on to be master librarians. <laughs> Daniel, thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. <laughs> now, I gotta go and finish a mega build. Alright. All right. See, See ya, Daniel. Well, everyone, that was a very eventful episode, but we had a very good time building this villager breeder. Uh, before I do get off, right after this I'm getting off, I will put torches all around here. So then uh, no mobs spawn in here and hopefully my villagers won't die. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this, make sure you leave a like. Uh, if you have not done so, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button to join Team m 4 d And uh, I will see you guys all in the next video. So, uh, goodbye! Everyone, the secret word, if you watch to the end of this video, the secret word to put in the comments to get a heart is pineapple. <laughs>